Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you another way of, uh, of running Llama 3 locally in your computer. In my last video, I did that using uh, Llama CPP and today I'm going to show you how I did it using Olama. Um, so what is Olama? Olama is an open source app uh, that lets you run uh, different LLMs uh, locally in your computer. It's, you can run it on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do if you want to do that is just obviously just, you can just Google it, Olama, and it should show up as one of the top results in your search. And you just go to the download page and then download the appropriate uh, app for, for your OS. And once you do that, you just install it just like any other app. Uh, and then once you're done with that, I did it on my Windows machine. So after I'm done with that, I just open like a command line prompt and you just type uh, Olama run and then the model name. So for me, it's still like Olama run Llama 3. So the nice thing about this is after that command, if the first time it runs, it downloads that model for you. Uh, compared to Llama CPP, I had to go and download that manually and then point to it like where, where I store it. Uh, with Olama, it's all done for you. So you don't have to do anything. And then once it's running, you could just test it. It's pretty quick. Uh, it even remembers uh, you know, your chat history context. Um, so when I got, <clears throat> when I figured out that, that I was able to run that in, in, my, in my terminal, I went ahead and um, implemented that in my AI avatar project. Um, and so the first thing that I did there was create a class and I just called it Olama API. And uh, there's different ways to, to initialize it, but to have a constructor. Uh, Olama actually has some documentation saying uh, you could create a model file and you could put a system prompt in there. Let's say like, you know, you're a helpful assistant, you know, be respectful, do not lie, things like that, right? Um, I tried that, um, but I also tried just using, um, you know, passing on a system prompt um, as part of my, you know, my overall prompt. Uh, I haven't, I didn't see a lot of difference, um, but at the same time, I haven't read the documentation that well. So there's probably something there that I'm missing and I'm probably going to change my code later on to actually create a model file and, and yada, yada, yada. Um, so after, uh, you know, you uh, initialize it, you can call the uh, olama.chat, passing in the model name as parameter and then the message and the option for stream true. Like I always try to do stream true because it, <clears throat> it does, you know, has an advantage. Uh, giving you the answers much quicker compared to like waiting for the whole context, depending on the size of the answer. Um, one thing that I've noticed um, in my implementation is Olama does not remember the chat history context. So if I ask you like, uh, you know, who is this and how old is he, he won't remember. Uh, and so I had to do some some sort of um, um, I had to do something additional to make it work. And what I did is I uh, I tried to save I save the uh, the previous uh, prompts and answers, and then <clears throat> turn around and then push that also as part of the the new question. Uh, doing that actually, um, you know, it, it it's working. I haven't done. Um, a more extensive test, but for my limited test, it, it, it works for me. And maybe digging to the documentation, maybe there is a flag in there, for example, that maybe I haven't turned on or haven't used. And maybe in the future, I, I get rid of this uh, workaround that I did. Uh, but for now, it's, it is working at least. And then the rest of the code is the same um, parsing um, 
methods that I used from the previous implementation of Llama. As I said before, this is totally up to you and how you're going to do it. This, for me, this is kind of like works. And <clears throat> anyway, um, one <clears throat> advantage that I see using Llama versus uh, Llama CPP is one is the, the ease of installation. Uh, as I've shown you, it's very easy to install. It just runs in the background. It uh, when it has some updates, it updates, it notifies you in a taskbar, and you can just update it. <clears throat> so there's a lot of advantage to it. And then, um, with regards to the speed, uh, in my last video using Llama CPP, I think it, it in my, with my setup, it took me it took like 12 seconds for the first uh, response to. Uh, to, to show up um, and I think when I was running with Llama it was six seconds it's probably because it was already um, you know, initialized in the background you know when I turned on the computer uh, that's that's most likely it um, but then after that you know um, comparing their responses they're pretty much the same they're pretty much the same model um, and as I said, you could you could run other models too. I, I think they, they have a pretty good documentation of which models uh, they support. Uh, and so like when you just type that model, run something, then you don't have to find it anywhere else. It, just, it will just download it for you. Um, anyway, so that's about it for this video. Hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. And then um, here's a quick demo on how it performs. Till next time, peace. Hello. Hi. It is nice to chat with you again. Is there something I can help you with, or would you like to start a new conversation? I want to start a new conversation, but answer me with just a single sentence. Let's explore the fascinating world of Aurora Borealis together. No, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead and ask away. Who is Robert Downey Jr.? Robert Downey Jr. is an American actor known for his iconic roles in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Tony Stark Iron Man, Sherlock Holmes, and other memorable characters. Uh, how old is he? Robert Downey Jr. was born on April 4, 1965, which makes him currently 58 years old. Uh, wife and kids? Robert Downey Jr. has been married to producer Susan Downey since August 2005, and they have two children together. A son named Indio Downey, born in 1993 from Robert's previous marriage, and an adopted son named Exton Downey, born in 2012. Any daughters? That's wonderful. I meant, does he have daughters? Yes, Robert Downey Jr. has two children with his wife Susan. A son named India and an adopted daughter named Ali. How old is he? Robert Downey Jr. was born on April 4, 1965, which makes him currently 58 years old. Thank you. You're welcome.